Good morning, good evening, good night from wherever you're watching us and welcome to this new tutorial where we are going to be learning how to use PDF element. To get to PDF element, you simply go to pdf.wondershare.com and this is the page that you will get. And with the PDF element, you can be able to edit, convert, organize, annotate, or protect, or create, and basically edit all PDF work and even convert PDF to Word. So once you get here, uh, you click on free download or you can buy. So we are going to be using the free version. So I click on free download and then you need to save this so that it can download. Then you install the PDF element. You click on save. You will then install the PDF element. You just install it the normal way you install programs on your PC. Then you will click on install. After the installation is complete, you simply click on start now and the installation process sometimes may take long, but once it's done, you will click on start now. And now it will bring you to this PDF element tour. You can either show, you can either click on show me around so that you're able to see the tour or you can skip the tour. In this case, we are going to skip the tour because I'll be demonstrating how to use this. So you notice on this left hand side, we have the recent files and these are files that you opened recently. We have the start files, which you start yourself. You can also group your work according to folders. And then you can also put your documents in the cloud and this is where you access them. With, uh, with PDF element, you can edit texts and images in a file. You can also convert PDF to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, or others. And then you can also use the OCR. You can turn scanned documents into searchable or uh, editable uh, documents. Then you can also combine multiple files into a single file. And then you can also process a batch either of PDF or create print or OCR PDFs. And then so down here on the left hand corner, you can either create a PDF or you can open a PDF and edit that. At the top here, you can also do the same with this plus sign where you can open a file. So in this case, we want to open a PDF. I'll click on open PDF and then I'll go to my desktop and look for a PDF to edit. So I want to edit this PDF that has a pet that's called pet PDF. I'll click on that and click on open. And there we have our PDF added. So you notice here we have one button where you can simply convert the PDF to Word. You can also do PDF to PowerPoint. You can also convert PDF to, the, to an image. And down here, you can convert PDF to Excel. So if now I come at the top here and I click on PDF to PowerPoint, you notice here, this is the conversion I'll get the file name, then I can specify the folder where I want that to be. I want it to be at the on the desktop. I'll put it there. I'll save it in the TT folder, then click on select folder and I'll click on OK. And so you notice here to convert your PDF into a Microsoft PowerPoint will be an incredible accuracy. The trial version only supports converting up to three pages so mine is just one page so i'll click on continue then down here i'll put my wondershare email and password and then click on create account and then i'll have my pdf getting converted into a powerpoint and the conversion has been completed so i'll go back to my desktop and open the TT folder. Then you notice now here we have our pet PowerPoint converted using PDF elements. So here it is. You notice if so here it is. And now I can edit this PDF if I need to. I can just add the shape fields. And then I can do all the editing that I need now for my PowerPoint. Maybe I can enlarge even these ones now. 
the title there, how to select a pet, I can enlarge it that way. You notice now I have a nicely converted PDF to PowerPoint. So the next thing you can also do, so I'll close this one. So at the top here, we also have other things that we can do. For instance, you can highlight your PDF. This is a PDF that we had opened. We can highlight here. You click on that. Then you can choose the color of the highlight. I'll choose the red one. And then once I come to the document and I just drag it, you notice that one has been highlighted uh, yellow. So here you can also draw the shapes. For instance, if I decide to draw a triangle, I'll click on that and then come and drop it where I want it. Notice there we have our triangle. I can also place another one on that side. So I can also change the shapes here. I can do the ovals on my PDF. I can do that. I can resize it to the shape and the size that I would want. So I'll just leave it at that. So we can also add text to our PDF. For instance, I want to put a different text instead of this how to select a pet. I just want to put the title here for pets. So I'll click on add text and then I'll click here and type what I need, pets business. And now I can also drag it where I want it to be. I can also enlarge that. I can also enlarge that. I just click on that and maybe put that at 20. Then I can resize this so that we can have it fitting the box. Then I can drag it maybe at the center and there we have it. You can also do text translation using PDF element. You simply click on translate and then you highlight the text that you want translated and then you also select the target language. For instance, I want it to, de to detect the language and then here I want it to convert that to French. I'll just do that and then I come back to my document and then highlight the part that I want converted. I'm going to click on evaluate your lifestyle, that. So if I release that, you notice here, it's now, it has inserted itself and it has given us the translation. I can copy that translation and maybe replace it from here, but that is how you simply use the translation. If now I click on something else, different pets and species, that way you notice it detects itself here and automatically translates itself. Another new thing that has been added to PDF element, which is very new, is the use of AI. Now, in this YouTube channel, you'll find several videos talking about AI, artificial intelligence. So that is also a new feature on the top right corner in the PDF element. You notice that the chat with PDF helps you answer PDF related questions and also helps you process documents, including including rewriting translations, proofreading, and summarizing. This is a premium privilege. So for you to access this, you need to have paid add watermarks, header, or footer. For instance, let me add a background. After clicking on edit, you click on background, then you can add background or you can add from template. So in this case, I just want to add background so that I select it from my PC. I want to add a background of an image. I click on file. Then I can look for the file and I'll use this image of a squirrel and I click on open and then I click on apply. So and you notice now our PDF has a background added of the squirrel there and uh, we can still edit that. You notice here we can click on update background. Maybe it's too bright. I can reduce on the opacity so that it's just a faded background like that. Then I can decide on the scale here. It's at 100. And then you can decide on the settings here, the angle of rotation where it appears, that is in terms of the page range. And then I can now click on apply. And so you notice now we have a faded background there. We can also edit headers and footers here. Just add a header or a footer. You can also insert page numbers here. I hope this has been helpful. Kindly like this video share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.